let's just say for like backstage for Dolce, they have variety of snacks. So in the morning, there's a coffee, or there's like waiters asking you like what coffee you want. Waiters, there's waiters. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Valmis and welcome back to this episode of Short Girl Sis. I have Nicole here with me and she's gonna spill some tea. Hi, <laughs> my name is Nicole. I've been modelling with BASIC for about five years now. Uh, I've just recently came back from Milan and I've did the runway this season for uh, Dolce & Gabbana and also Palm Angel. Palm Angels! <laughs> That's like one of the dream brands you wanted to yes, work with, right? Yes, it's one of my favorite brands ever since I was like, I think in like poly. Uh -huh. Yeah, so when I got the confirmation that I was able to work for them, I was like freaking out so much. <laughs> hey, congrats, man. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> dream come true. Dream come true. Let's yes. give a round of a virtual round of applause. Many things. Yeah, many, many things in 2022. So one topic that is like quite frequently discussed in the modeling industry is do clients feed models? Most of the time when I work for e-coms, half day let's just say, mm. so that's like four hours plus one hour, five hours total, mm. okay, there will be no food available for me. Mm. Yeah, because once I start, it's around like, let's just say I start at mm. nine, mm. they will have expected me to eat my breakfast before I come for shoot, mm. which is okay, acceptable, fine. But I have to wake up like one hour earlier to prepare to eat and to make my way there. So I have to wake up even earlier, so two mm. hours before. I, I eat, I prepare and I go to like shoot. So let's just say shoot from nine to five hours is uh, 10, 11, two, 12, uh. one, two. Yeah, two. By like 12 or one, I'm already hungry. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for so, sure. And the thing about half day shoots in Singapore, I think is that clients do not provide meals for you mm. because they would think that you can have your meal after or like, like it's your just lunch like, after. It's just five hours, what, right? Yeah, it's or just, just five, five hours. hours yeah. like, why do we? But in the five hours, it's like tiring because you have to change in and out of so many outfits. And if let's just say you're under the sun, yeah. it's even worse because Singapore's weather can be so hot and so humid which makes it worse and makes me hungry even easier. Yeah, right? Yeah, so... Okay, so we have a half day shoot and we also have full day shoot. Yes. Full day shoot is about nine hours, is it? I th yes, uh, eight plus one. Eight, yeah. plus, eight plus one. So the one hour is basically like hair and makeup, yeah, like getting yeah. ready for the correct, shoot. Correct. Yeah. Full day shoot, they do provide uh, lunch on set. Mm. It's in around like mm. one to two. 12 or 1, depends on the clients mm. when they want to give you, like they'll ask you, oh, do you want to order anything for lunch? Yeah, and then we'll order lunch and then we'll have another like an hour break or 45 minutes to eat and then afterwards we shoot all the way to like maybe 4 to 5. As long as full day there's lunch, it's fine. It's just that the mm. period where from the time when I've done breakfast to the lunch time, it could be a bit suffering for me. Mm. And there's no snacks on set. Oh, yeah. So there is if no I get hungry halfway, I just have to thank through to yeah. I end shoot. It gets exhausting, right? Changing clothes. It does. I, mean, it I don't does. do that much yeah. e-commerce, but I really feel that it's exhausting. It is, especially if it's outdoor. I think within like a half day shoot, you can easily do like 30 to 40 clothes. And that is really quite tiring. Oh, yeah. It's like you can see two full racks looking back at you. <laughs> PTSD! The, I get really scared yeah. whenever I, I see... I saw one of the photos they posted of the rack. It, it looks so like cluttered and like... No, so that was the one I did in Milan. Yeah, but it was, still, yes. I think that it's like... It was oh eight full racks. I almost had a panic attack on the spot. <laughs> 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 wow, my heart hurt. This is like if you don't get food and then... Yeah. Actually, I feel like for e-commerce e shoot, right? Mm. There, there's really like any snacks or like water, water to begin with. Like, yes. I had a few occasions where I had to shoot at a client's house and I wasn't offered water, like even in her house. And the shoot was early. I mean, they accommodated to my time, that's why it was early. So it was like 7 a.m. Huh? No water? No. Then you didn't ask? I, I didn't ask. I didn't dare to ask also because she didn't offer. Oh. But I think the fact that it was in a person's house yes. and I'm literally looking at her pantry that's so stressful. <laughs> no, as, in, like, as in, I can see your pantry right there, and then there's like snacks and there's water. I mean, it would be nice if like... She could offer. Yeah, like, if I'm doing makeup, then she's like, oh, you want a cup of tea or like you want a biscuit or something, you know? Yeah. I think that would be nice. Like, or water lah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like also, uh, even for like e -coms, if I were to go to someone's office to do like my hair and mm. makeup in the early morning, if they ask me like, oh, do you want like coffee or do you want snacks? Mm. 
it's also, I, I feel like it's a, still a very nice gesture. Yeah, it's a very nice yeah. gesture. Like. But some clients can be really nice. Some even provide you like lunch, like snack time or tea time. They ask you like, oh, do you want so bubble cute. tea? Yeah. Okay. So like sometimes lunch and then they ask like tea, tea break, do you want anything? Love tea break. Yeah. So that tea break can subsequent, like can last you for like, even longer. What? That one bubble tea uh. can last, can at least have you, let you like have a little bit more strength. Sip, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the little moments where you like get some pump of energy. Right? If yes, not, you get so yes, yes. I used to do like e-commerce, right? After a certain amount, of, at first it would be like, wow, full force, right? You like change, 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 yes. change. After a while you get like, <laughs> oh my god, yes. It's but your face, and I think cl clients can kind of tell when you are low on energy because mm. your face just becomes like, and you, your actions just become more sluggish. <laughs> a bit more like mm, yeah. mood. <laughs> mood shots. Yeah, so like girls who actually keep the energy on set, like full day. Wow, it's, it's, I, I don't understand how you can do a full day catalogue shoot. Like thinking about that, right, makes mm. me, it makes me panic just thinking yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, damn stressed. <laughs> Not eating is bad enough, mm. but what's worse? is seeing the people around you snack while you're working. That's true. Like, like I've had experiences where I go in the morning, right? And they have like McDonald's for like the, I mean the photographer and like the yes, client. Like, yes. They have that, their own like breakfast settled. And then they're snacking on it throughout the day as I'm filming. I mean shooting. Mm. Then it's like, you know, I can smell the food and I can see the bubble tea, but I get none. And yes. like, or like coffee, like if yes, they have yes, coffee. Yes. Wow, it's then jialat. It, I think it feels even worse because you know that they actually ordered and they could have asked yeah, right. before. Like. Yeah, some, some clients actually order their own food like during the shoot, right? Yeah, yeah. I think people don't realise that. Yeah. Like, you know when you're on set and then as a, maybe like as a client or as a crew and then mm. they're snacking, right? It means that they are hungry, what? Yeah, and if they're hungry, of course we're hungry, so. <laughs> yeah, yes. so... When we are in basics training, right? Mm. There's this one training part where they say you can't eat or drink in like designer's clothes. So oh, okay. let's just say magazines, right? Mm. Usually most of the time when we wear the clothes, I try not to eat in them or drink anything in them just in case I spill something on them. Imagine if you drip like some curry sauce on a mm -hmm. Chanel dress. No, uh -uh. my god. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. that would be it. Because okay. I remember there was this one time when I was on set. <laughs> I was doing a commercial. And I just went out to take a break and the person came up to me and reminded me, oh, you can't uh, actually like go out in this clothes. Why? Because it's on. And it's just a normal sequin dress. But I think it's because like the stylist was like high. Maybe because it was... Mm. It as was in they were afraid that you would spoil like, the dress. Yeah, spoil the dress. So as long as you leave the set, you need to change yeah, back Yeah, yeah, your... yeah. yeah. <gasps> or like change it to a bathrobe or something. Yeah. Oh, okay, I guess... But I think snacks should be still okay. Snacks la, right? are, yeah, but I, think I don't know, maybe like from a studies point of view, it'll be different, mm. you know. So what's like the best food that you've gotten on set? Do you have like a memorable? As long as they provide me with food, I'm mm. fine. Okay. Yeah, so any food is good with me. Any, any yeah, food is anything, good food. Yeah. Like the How current production I'm on, right, they actually they actually do like uh, buy lunch back for us, like lunch or dinner, like, depending on how long we are filming. Mm. So they will say like, okay, today I'm going to Sia Im a food centre, mm. or today I'm going to ABC market. And it's like they go to like the big markets where they have a, a lot, lot of, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, a lot of varieties. I had like soup, I had wow. like ayam penget, you know, like this kind of like, yes, yes. it's like, it's not just like a packet of like tea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like, I've heard horror stories, right, uh, where I think they are pescatarian, or, but basically they don't eat meat. Mm. And then the welfare, PA, right? Just keeps buying McDonald's. So the only thing they can eat is filet o fish. And they had filet o fish for, I think, five to seven days in a row. Oh, so that's my like, gosh. I think I'll. I will have just packed my own meal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will pro they were probably too tired because they, like, they are the crew. Maybe they feel like it's welfare, so it's not like a necessity. It's, it's like a. It's like the bare minimum have, for welfare. La. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, but welfare is not like a. Like, they, they don't have to have welfare. Like, it's not. I think, I think culturally wise here, it's not uh, ingrained in that way. I think it's about the culture because in Milan, right, everything is really different. Mm. I can go to work with an empty stomach. Let's just say for like backstage, for Dolce, they have mm. variety of snacks. So in the morning, there's a coffee, 
Or there's like waiters asking you like what coffee you want. Waiters, there's waiters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh not waiters God. that go up to you lah, but it's like the ones standing on the table. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. And then they have different croissants like blueberry, uh, cream. Oh, I've not had blueberry butter. croissants. <laughs> it's so Sounds good. good. And the lunch is also like different. Like there's risotto, pasta, salad. Wow. Yeah, I actually posted a TikTok of it. Like it sounds very feng fu. Yes, it's like a proper really, meal. Yes, it's wow. proper. Also, that time I went for placement in Korea. Placement. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I meant for <laughs> direct booking. Oh my god, it's been a while. So before our fitting, they actually brought us to a like a very cute cafe, and then they gave oh, us roses. So nice. it, it's like it's like a nice place, you know. It's not like they just bring you to the hotel room and then say like, oh, downstairs you can like get some noodles. Oh yes, yes, yes. You yeah. know, they actually like brought us out to eat. And then when we were all fed, they brought us to the fitting. After fitting, we went back to rest. Mm. And then, here comes the... I, I don't think this is like mandated by the agency there, but the booker herself wanted to bring us out. Oh, wow. So we had Korean barbecue. Oh my god, it was... It was damn bomb. It changed my whole perspective on Korean barbecue. Like back then, I used to eat like, you know... <laughs> it's like right below Sota. Because I still sit the worst and the cheapest. <laughs> Student meal, okay, student price. So that was like the cake BBQ that I knew. Mm. After I went to Korea, I was like, oh my god, this is some job. So this is legit. Wow, I love Korean barbecue. Wow. When I came back, right, I was like, okay, I love Korean barbecue. Like, that it was that, that was how impactful that meal yes, was. Yes, yes. Like to her, maybe it's just like you know, I bring for dinner, but wow, it meant a lot. <laughs> it meant, thank you Shout so much. Out. Shout out, <laughs> platinum, right? <laughs> Now let's talk about like bad food. Have you had any bad food experience? Yes. Also, okay. So the Milan was like so great and all yeah, that. Yeah, it but sounds yes, amazing. Yes. I, can't, I can't imagine like showing up to work with croissant and like coffee. It's really good. I always feel super happy when I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> but bad food. Oh, because in Milan. Uh, so I had this lunch time mm. where they asked me what I wanted to eat, and because it was in Italian, I had to ask my booker to translate it for me, uh -huh. like my Italian booker. So he translated it for me and I saw this one that said curry chicken with rice. Okay. So I was like, oh, let's wow. order that. Something that's really nice <laughs> away from home. home right? yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm scared to hear this really. <laughs> Italian curry chicken with rice. It came and it was yellow and it wasn't spicy. It was legit yellow. It's so bad. Is it, was it hot though at least? No. Cold. <laughs> so I ate cold, yellow curry rice. And the rice was risotto rice. Oh, that's strange. Yeah, this this is like fusion. But okay, okay la, I guess at least they, at least they give me food lah. Uh, at least they give me food. I really like, didn't complain. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like, no matter how bad it is, right? The fact that there is food is already like blessing. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Right? You know, one thing I've learned is that if they offer you food, just take it. Like just order it, unless it's like one hour till you end, uh. then that's fine. But majority of the time, I feel like you should just take whatever they offer, because at least they offer and any pocket. Yeah. Yesterday, I was on an all-cup diet. Wow. I brought three bread with me. It's actually brought here to show you guys. I actually have one more bread here. Oh my gosh, I love so sausage my... bun. I love hot dog <laughs> bun so much. Oh my gosh, it's my favourite from bread yeah. But yeah, this one is... This is my cute little lunch box that I bring because I think it's like the littlest things, right? Like when you're so like tired, then you see this like... So kawaii, that's nice. Sweet little grushy. <laughs> and, of course, Essential coffee girls, we need our coffee. <laughs> hydro <laughs> flask. Yeah. I bring so it in my hydro amazing, flask. Amazing, yes. And I got this like flex seat cap, right? So it's like you just and it's uh spill proof. Oh wow. That's the most important thing. So like when I'm carrying like my old clothes and all that, right? I don't have to worry, I can just throw my instead of bringing like a tumbler, I just throw this in my bag. Yes, and I yes, just know yes. that it won't spill. Hydro flask is really good. So I was on set for outdoor and I wanted cold water, so he topped it up for me. You brought your own water to set! Yes, <laughs> and the cold water lasted till 3 p.m. It's damn good. Like, it's still cold. I was so shook that day. I was like, oh my god, hydro flask. Yeah. Now I bring it, not, now I kind of bring it everywhere I go. You try, yeah, yeah you try. Yeah, 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 really you know, if good. you put ice cube in a, the, if you ice water and you put ice cube, right, it can last you the whole day. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. I love hydro flask. I love hydro flask. Okay. <laughs> so, to answer our question, like, do clients feed models on set? I guess it's like a 50-50 thing. Like, on one hand, it depends on like the duration of the shoot. And on the other hand, it also depends on the client, like the kind of like work culture that they have in mind. Maybe some people feel like, oh, you're here to work. 
Right, so every like, every second, every minute every comes, <laughs> please don't waste my time by eating. Because yeah. technically speaking, every second you can take one snack. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Like Fresh Mob, they are foodies. Mm. They love to go like cafes and oh, places. Okay. So every time I go, even if I go to their office and like they have something delivered over, they will share it with us. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, even if we have breakfast, they'll be like, oh, you should try this. Like it got delivered to us a few days ago. And then they'll say like, oh yeah, they tried this a long time ago, it's nice, this and that. Oh, that's very sweet of them. Yeah, so I think it's really about the work culture and how yeah. the how these clients are like mm. in general. Like, and like, yeah. I mean, especially when we talk about like overseas and stuff, it's very evident that it's part of their culture yes, to like feed yes. the models. So I guess even though it's a less conventional kind of like work here locally still, but I mean, every office would love to have a pantry. Likewise, every model would love to be fed. Like even if it's a snack or something, you know. Just to, not just for hunger, but also for energy level, which is so important because you don't want sloppy pictures. No one wants sloppy pictures, right? Yes, yes. Feed the models. I think it's an actual hashtag, like feed the models. Okay, let's hashtag feed the models. Feed Nick Liu. <laughs> See me, please. Feed her, please. I'll open my mouth and thank you, Fresh Mom. <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much sis for taking the time to spill the tea with me. I hope you guys found this a little bit uh, insightful. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell button. And if there's any other models you want me to like chit chat with, uh, feel free to leave their names down and I'll see if I can drag them in. And also if you have any comments, just leave them down below. My name is Valnis and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!